हेलो गाइस आई एम ओपी सिंह एंड आई वेलकम यू टू सर्विस नाउ 911 वी आर ट्राइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू बेस्ट कंटेंट बट आई नो स्टिल देयर आर स्कोप ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट्स सो आई वांट इन रिटर्न फ्रॉम यू सम कमेंट्स सम फीडबैक सो दैट वी कैन इंप्रूव द वीडियो वी कैन डिजाइन ऑल द थिंग्स एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट एज पर योर नीड सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल कंटिन्यू द वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच In today's video I am discussing about formatters and at the end I will show you how to create a new formatter a custom formatter let me show you first of all what is formatter so this is the incident form apart from fields and their names you can see something which is decorating the incident form it is formatting right formatting so that it will looks good it will provide some information something like that This is one of the formatter which is displaying the current state of this incident and at the bottom you see this is also one of the formatter activity formatter it is capturing all the updates happening to this incident form with respect to certain values what is changed who has changed and at what time you can include n number of values into that from here okay so this is also one of the formatter let me show you one more this is a ci form that is cmdb ci and in cmdb ci you see this is related item this is also one of the formatter which will help you to show the relationships between the ci so this is the use of formatter it will help to provide certain instructions certain information in a very straightforward way or the way you want to look at it okay So first of all how to add a formatter so this is incident form right right click on it go to form layout you see at the top i have given process flow this is the formatter so all the formatters will be available here you have to drag it here and then save the form along with this you see in the notes there is one more formatter that is the activity formatter okay so this is how you adjust the place of the formatter let's go back you will find the formatters from here just write down formatters you see under system ui you have the formatters so these all are the formatters let me open it this is the activity one which i have shown you so okay this is the formatter it is on table you have to provide the table so it is on global table that means it is available for all the tables okay just above table you have activity.xml that is name of the formatter it means the body of this formatter is somewhere else and it is activity.xml so usually we will create the body or the design of the formatter in ui macros okay so let me go here find ui macros these all are the macros let me create a new one creating a macro needs some knowledge of html some knowledge of jelly but don't worry various courses are available on the wiki you can learn from that you can easily understand i will create a separate video in which i will explain jelly properly so let's provide a name and provide the code here so i have the sample code very easy so i have this simple code where i am displaying a simple line below the priority field so let's save this just copy the name of this macro go to the ui formatter so this is one of the ui formatter we have to create a new ui formatter here let me show you how to create from this one only okay so select the table i want to show it on incident table and provide the name here update the name here so now just right click and click on insert and stay so what just happened we have created a new record in the ui formatter only we can go to the ui formatter table click on new and do all these things but this is one of the shortcut so now let's go to the incident form just reload it configure the form click on form layout see i can see the new formatter ui macro here 
let me put it uh, below the priority field click on save you see my new ui formatter is working i have displayed the line just below the priority field you can adjust it you can decorate it as per your need because you have all the power of html here okay so friends this is all about how to create a custom formatter if you have any questions let us know in the comment section subscribe to the video see you in next video bye bye